Right? There's so many mixed emotions that go into something like walking into St. Peter's Basilica. Because the artwork is phenomenal. The skill and masterful design work, the time and thought, all the symbolism, so much symbolism. <laughs> just quite astonishing it's hard and quite impossible I believe not to admire this magnificent structure but then at the same time when the contradiction comes is on the back of deceit and fraud and perpetrating a belief system onto people in many cases without them even knowing and we run into people all the time that are Catholics or Baptists for that matter, Methodists, whatever. And they believe what they believe only because their mother and daddy told them to. And it's the same thing with this. Uh, these people went and conquered Central and South America, turned them all into Catholics, destroying the ancient Mayan and Aztec civilization and their conquest for power. And then we steal their gold. Well, we didn't. <laughs> they those people and they turn it into this take and recreate this is just a fascinating story of the human spirit being appropriated by unpleasant masters that's why the 4th of July is so important that's why the Declaration of Independence is so vital when in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for us to break the bonds. <laughs> you know, should read it, continue reading it, read it, study it, know it. Because the greatest human experiment of freedom of worship, freedom of speech, freedom to assemble, freedom to have our privacy, all of the things that are in our grand experiment in the United States are at a great risk of small-minded tyrants who really don't even recognize themselves as tyrants, which most don't. They feel like they are liberators as they put everyone in chains, much like the Catholic Church did here to all the people in Central and South America and the United States. That is why we have the Declaration that resulted in the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. It is so vital for our understanding. If you've never been to the Vatican before, it's um, it's worth a visit. I don't know how many times I've been here. I think this is my fourth just to the Vatican. And I don't think I'll, I'll grow tired of it because it is that impressive and there's so many secrets out here, so many things that are kept from us that you just don't get to see. They take it. The Vatican archives here, which are all of the Inca, the Aztec, all of the pagan religions that they called pagan. There was no such thing as pagan religions. They even have the pantheon of different gods here. It is, it's fascinating to see. And right now, St. Peter's tomb is under construction for the every 25 year um, jubilee, every 25 year jubilee. But let us keep in mind, there's only one nation that we know of in recorded history that has had the big kahunas to celebrate the freedom and power of the individual man. And whenever we celebrate the power that is inside ourselves, we ultimately elevate and lift other people and their free will and their spiritual nature, just as the Vatican here showcases the pine cone as the pineal gland, how we can reach and use our intuition. There's so many secrets held here that it is a shame that we do not allow the notion and the spirit of the Declaration of Independence to shine bright here, to, to allow all of that information out for all of mankind. Small groups of people like to keep the rest of us down. And I believe humanity is better than that. 
and it showcased just some of our artwork and our beauty and walking in Mother Nature. I hope y'all have a fantastic 4th of July. And if you're in the local area, we get together every Sunday at 1.15. And this coming Sunday, I will be there with a fantastic presentation on how we have everything inside of us. All things that ever were, the material, the spirit, the knowledge, it's all inside of us. All we have to do is tap into it through our meditations. And all of those mystical intrigues and interests are all found, even in this place here. Hmm. Goodbye. I love you. I hope to see you all soon.